Hi, we're Nick and Tyler, and we live in a van. We made it to Maine, which is very exciting. And we're at the beach. We're staying at a campground tonight. Um, we woke up early so that we could head out here early just so that I can do some work stuff. Um, we're at the beach and it is cold water, very, very cold water, which is not ideal. Um, but it's fun to, you know, see beaches all along the way. This is not the swimming kind of ocean. No, this, this is, is like a... Be in a boat in like a blanket kind of ocean. This is the kind of ocean that like if you want to get in without like more than just like touching your feet, you, you need a wetsuit. a wetsuit. All the drivers here suck. <laughs> but overall, I really like Maine. I think it's really beautiful. Um, New Hampshire was cool for the few seconds that we were in it. Um, yeah, I think I'm I'm pretty happy with being over here. It reminds me a lot of the Pacific Northwest. I think a lot more than I like originally anticipated, but it's like pretty much the same except the beaches are more sandy and it's not- As of right now. It's not just like I, rocks. I've heard that it is like pretty rocky once you like continue up. So yeah, at least where we're at now, it's like really beautiful, but it looks a lot like the Pacific Northwest, so. Guys, we made it. It's a lighthouse. Are you kidding me? This is so pretty. Guys, we literally got here at the perfect time. All the colors are so pretty right now. Look how majestic this is. There's also basically nobody else here. This is the best day ever. We love it here. Just at the lighthouse. Thing. Guys, Not. there's another one in the back. Look how cute it is. Hello, baby. Hello, little baby lighthouse. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's real nice. Hi. We're just uh, enjoying how magical it is. And all of a sudden, a park ranger just came around and said that they are closing. <laughs> 14 minutes. Get out. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we're just going to take a couple more pictures from this side. We were over there before, and now we're on this side. Um, and we'll take some pictures slash videos over here, and then we're going to have to dip. It was kind of nice because we didn't have to pay to park because it was closing, but we didn't get to stay and enjoy it, um, which is kind of sad. We probably should have come here earlier today. We went to a different park. It was beautiful, but I would have rather spent the day here. Guys, this place is crazy. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at that, you guys. Guys, watch me do a dip. I've been practicing in the gym. You're going too slow. This is boring. <sighs> we just looked at this map that like shows you everything that's here. And I'm so sad that we have to leave because there's so many cool things. And there's like a bunch of different areas that you can walk around. And there's like an old fort and there's like all sorts of stuff. So if you are ever in Maine, come to Portland Head Light. Yeah, definitely put this on your list. It's also known as Fort Williams Park cause because we maybe way come, cool. Yeah, we may be coming back here tomorrow, depending on if we have time. We are staying somewhere about an hour and a half north of here tomorrow. So hopefully, but we're staying at a farm. So usually they like us to be there a little bit earlier. So to be determined. But highly recommend if you're in Maine, come here. You will not regret it. So last night we stayed at this super cute like little farm and tonight we're just staying at someone's house and it's like right by the water so you can kind of see it over there um and the owner of the house was telling us a few different like things to do or places to go um since we got here a little bit early we got here at like one o'clock we've just kind of been hanging out we did laundry nick did laundry i guess i should say yeah that's what i thought anyways um so now we're heading to this place that he suggested it's called fort knox um and they also have like a, an observatory there as well so that's pretty exciting um so yeah that's where we're gonna go explore for the next little bit we are just 
under, I think it's like between 30 minutes and like an hour to Acadia from here. Um, and the only reason it's gonna take a little bit longer is because it's a little bit of um, some windy roads. Nick's water bottle is just rolling around back there. Anyways, so kind of excited to see what this looks like. He said that it was really cool. So right as we got here, it started raining, classic. But we are going up to the top of this thingy right now. Look how pretty this like gorgeous. So we are heading up to the observatory. You can pay for just the observatory. Uh, no, you can pay just to go to the fort and then you can pay for the fort and the observatory. Um, it's like a couple bucks difference. And so we were like, <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Um, so that's what we're doing. Look at cute little Nick in his maroon pants. Let's see the ticket. I fell over for like a couple seconds and I'm wearing it just for now. We're at the top and this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's raining, so over here, you can't see it quite as well. The sun just came out for a little bit and there's a rainbow. As we're looking over, that's Fort Knox. We're heading into that just next. So the stratosphere <clears throat> is twice as tall as this obelisk little thing, which is kind of fun. This is like 500 and something feet, and the stratosphere is 1,100 feet tall. So it's kind of fun to look out the window and be like, we jumped off of uh, something that was twice as tall as this. Which is kind of weird because this is also, it feels taller. So this is the bridge that we're on and we're in the like twin of that obelisk thing. The little tower. Guys look, there's our little van. So cute. Up top got really busy so we started to make insane. our way down. But look how magical this is, you guys. So we just got out of the cute little observatory. And now it's like not even really raining. So it only rained while we were in it. So yeah, it's really beautiful. We took some really cool pictures and now we're headed to Fort Knox and all that's around there. Apparently they have some underground tunnels that we're gonna go hopefully explore, which would be really cool. And all of this came to a grand total of $18 for the both of us. To do all of the things, which is pretty great. Especially because we just came from Massachusetts where everything, if you're out of state, costs like quadruple the amount of what it is for people that live in the states. So yeah, it's Don't pretty awesome. that weird splooshing noise. It's Nick's sandals. Yeah. So we just got a cool little presentation using this cool map from the director here he kind of explained all of this stuff there's so much there's a lot there's so, so much. we might have quite a few videos of exploring fort knox but they have a whole bunch of these like underground like bunkers and like hallways that you can go and explore so we're gonna go check out quite a bit of stuff this is that's the like main fort right here which is pretty crazy super pretty we just saw a seal in the water okay so that's another battery entrance that we're about to go into there's the bridge that we were at and look at this crazy beautiful view everybody there's the entrance to the actual fort nick just showed you that we're heading down into the battery Wow, we are inside the battery. We're inside of it, 
it guys this is crazy okay so now we're at the bottom we were inside the battery and we're just a little bit down below what are your thoughts nick battery a is crazy reminds me of a lot of the reminds me a lot of the one in pensacola that we went to see mm -hmm. it's pretty similar We made it into the fort. Finally, we've just been in the batteries for the last little bit and walking by the water. This is what it looks like. Kind of cool. <sighs> this area that we're currently in is known as Two Step Alley. Um, and then there's also an alley that goes below us and is even lower. Is it called the long trail? The long alley. The long alley. Cause that one, it's like pitch black apparently versus this one at least has like some windows, some things that you can see. This one is even longer, obviously, as you can see. Um, so far I like it because where we were just at was hecka loud and this is like silent over here. Yeah, there was a lot of people in the other one. In the battery area. It is. It's quiet and look, you can see all the different things. So this is the other alley. This is called Long Alley. And as you can see, there's no steps and it's quite long. One of the biggest differences between this one and the other one is the other one, it like opened up into multiple rooms so you could enter it in a lot of different areas. This one, you can literally only enter it in two spots. So we have to walk clear around to the other side where we were just at so that we can get back out. So this dry moat goes all the way around there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right out here is the dry moat, that area, that like blank spot. And then that, those like windows is where we were walking before. So we just came in here in our little map. It's like we're following a treasure map. We came in here and we just walked by the dry moat, which also parallels Two Step Alley and the Long Alley, all the way back around to the entrance point right here. But Long Alley, you can only entrance, enter from here or here, versus Two Step Alley, there's entrances along the way, right? Yep. And then dry moat is along that whole way. Whole thing. So basically, we entered here in the main entrance, then we came over here. We went into this area and then walked all the way around to here. And then we were like, hmm, there's the dry moat. Let's come over here. And so now we're wandering this. And then when we come back out, we can explore all of this stuff or we can go to the top and see it from a different angle. Also something else that was cool is right here. So they have this, I forget what it's called. I think it's called a cistern, but this comes That's out. That's not a cistern. No, it's not a cistern. This is a cistern and it was used for water. I forget what this is called, but by the main entrance, there's a little like plaque here that explains what this is for. And basically they made this protruding out of the fort so that they could see if anybody was lining the outer walls and they could like shoot them. So they have guns and cannons right here. So you can, they can see the entirety of the fort, which was kind of interesting. Pretty crazy. So this is Powder Magazine. We've been in a couple of the rooms. So this is the first one that they actually like decked out to teach you about it. And so as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is what a powder powder magazine would look like back in the day. Back in the days. Guys, we made it to the top. What are your thoughts, Nick? It's really cool. It's really pretty. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And both of the like alleys that we went into, so the two-step alley was in this area. And then there's the dry moat. And the other side was the long alley. So you can't really see it, but pretty cool view.